kind of at first thought I wanted to be in the forestry. It was always kind of an outdoorsman as a kid growing up, you know, living in the country and hunting and fishing and all that kind of stuff. But when I got to high school, my high school coach made a big impression on me. And when I graduated, I decided I wanted to get into the education field and be a coach. And I got hired at Mansfield High School and taught and coached one year and the head coaching job in Red Oak came open. It was an opportunity to advance as far as coaching. And Don Shields, who was the new superintendent at that time, he called me back on Friday and they had a board meeting and, and that's how it started. When I first met him, a cousin of mine introduced us. Um, they were going to a football game over at UTA and wanted me to go and meet Gaines. So that's when I went with him, was to a football game, of course, football. I've been married to Gaines now for 52 years. He's loyal to all his friends. He has very high integrity. I met her when I was teaching at Frost. She was a student at Navarra Junior College. We started dating her sophomore year in college, which was probably around Christmas time. And we got married in July and been together ever since. She put up with a lot, but uh, it's been good, I think, for both of us. At least I think it has, so I hope she does. <laughs> if he is your friend, he will do anything for you. He'll go to great lengths to do anything for his friends. Uh, I've known Gaines for approximately 25, 30 years, and he's my best friend. It's hard to remember the exact time we met, but I'm sure it was either at coaching school or a football stadium, one or the other. What was your first impression? He's short and plump. A very loyal person, a very I'll do anything to get the job done person, uh, an individual that will at a moment's notice drop what he's doing to help another individual. I would say as a person, he perseveres. He's very loyal. Uh, he's got the attitude of, let's get the job done. I met him at his home when he lived next door to us. And then Don Shields was a neighbor there in the house. He is a very nice person. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of my grandfather in a few ways. And uh, he's just, he's really easy to get along with and really easy to work with and makes it fun to come to work with him every day. I first met Gaines whenever I started working here uh, three or four years ago. And my first impression was that uh, this is a guy that probably has a lot of knowledge that we could learn from. <laughs> There's not anybody else out there that's got the knowledge about where what is as well as I do. And uh, that's just from being here, you know. I learned very quickly that I didn't put things in the same spot that Gaines did. And everything I set up, he changed to his spot. So from that point on, I knew that it was Gaines' way. That's why the sign on his street, Gaines' way, it makes a lot of sense. First impression was a tough teacher. He expected a lot, uh, but he was a fair teacher. If you tried, he would help you out. He wanted the effort. It wasn't so much about the grade, it was more about the effort from the kid. I was always a firm believer when I was AD and all this thing, and I felt like every student ought to be involved in something. UIL, one-act play, volleyball, tennis, golf, whatever, so you could have some ownership. You know, if you don't have any ownership into something, then, you know, you don't have anything. When I first met Gaines here at the business office in May of 2007, my first impression was that I wasn't sure exactly if he and I were going to get along very well together <laughs> and that uh, we were going to have to figure out how, to, how the two of us would work together very well because I'm sure he had a different opinion of me just like I had of him at the time. But since then, uh, we've gotten along very well and become good friends. And as a person, I think Gaines is a great guy. You can tell that he's loyal to Red Oak ISD. He's such a good person. Gaines is a great leader and also a very giving person. He believed in his employees and uh, he was, he wanted to get the job done, but he was easy going. He's, he's a very quiet person really when he's away from work. He's very quiet, but 
He loves spending time with his grandchildren. I don't ever regret coming here. Of course, I guess it's obvious I've been here 50 years. We won the first district football championship here. They decided they wanted to put my name on this building out here. That was overwhelming. Both of our kiddos graduated from here. My daughter is a principal for Pantico Christian Academy at Mansfield. And my son, <coughs> excuse me, breaks me up a little bit, is associate uh, vice chancellor for the TSTA system. So, uh, Red Oak Schools did a good job getting them ready. So their graduation was very significant to see them back at Milestone. I hope that people would remember me as being fair and uh, trying to do the best job I could do. Gaines will definitely leave a legacy of someone that uh, has strived to, to work every day as hard as possible and to make this district a better place. Through his hard work, this district is a better place. Gaines is just a super guy. He's a people person and he can talk to the President of the United States. He could talk to uh, the B team girls basketball coach the same way. The legacy I think he would leave would be all the students, he's, their lives that he's touched. Not only the football players who still call him coach, we still see him around town. I think he will leave a big legacy with them because they all still hold him in such high regard. I think one thing that he will leave is the legacy had such continuity for our district and keeping things moving in the lean times and the good times. He's probably touched each and every part of the district in many ways throughout the years and there's not anybody here that's not better for knowing Gaines and that he hadn't helped in one way or another. Gaines is somebody that's been in the district for one year or less that I've been alive. You have a lot of people that work at places, they're there just to get a paycheck. And I can surely tell you that Gaines wants to do the best that he can on a daily basis, but it's, it's all about making a, uh, an input, making a, a difference. Fondest memory. Wow. Uh, okay, this going to be on camera? <laughs> I can't say that. can't really talk about that. There's too many memories and too many stories that we've shared throughout the years. There's uh, not very many I can really talk about. That's the one I don't want to answer. When he was telling a story about a guy that he taught and coached, and he said that uh, he had taught him biology, and he was coaching him, and he knew the guy was doing the best he could, but he said, I'll tell you, that boy couldn't have passed biology if he had ate it. Probably some of my fondest memories is the Gaines-isms. Like, that's like burning the barn down to get rid of the rats. Him and I was working over at the uh, old junior high. Uh, a door wouldn't lock in the back, and kids was getting in there, so him and I was back there working on the, on the door. Well, bless his heart, his belt broke. And when his belt broke, his pants, his pants fell down to his knees. <laughs> so I run to the truck and got a rope and put around his waist. <laughs> He's one of a kind. Do I ever see myself or something? No, I don't. Well, I do everything that I want to do and still be able to be here and productive. It's just like taking a breath, you know? It's just what you do. Believe me, I have been where I didn't want to get up and go to work, but I didn't stay there long. The day I can't be productive, then that's the day I quit. Congratulations, Gaines, and happy 50th anniversary, all in one district. Happy 50th and congratulations, Gaines. Congratulations, Gaines, for 50 years. Happy 50th anniversary, Gaines. Look forward to many more years working with you. Congratulations, Gaines, on 50 years. Well deserved. Gaines, happy 50th, and just remember, um, you married way out of your league, son. Thank you. Happy 50th anniversary, Gaines. Uh, you were here when I got here in 2007. You'll probably still be working hard when I'm gone and retired, so good luck.
very seldom did I ever have any kind of discipline problems, you know. So it uh, that kind of tells you how old I am too. Flip phone. <laughs> but you know one thing about that? If I lay it down, I don't have to worry about anybody wanting to pick it up and go off with it. 